guys. So I'm here in Bellingham, Massachusetts, and I came across these uh, old truck. So I figure I do a little quick video, a little walk around. I'm just gonna do a little close up walk around. So this one right here is a Ford. Um, it not it's not as rusty as these two right here. So this is a Ford, and these two right here. Um, these are Sterling. Um, Sterling trucks are still around, and as we all know, Ford um, still make trucks. But Sterling trucks are still around. It's not the same um, style of logo. You see right here, it says Sterling, but they're still around. Give you a four for a view shot here of these two rusty trucks. So we're gonna go close up and we're gonna do a walk around now. It's the radiator. I think they had some some plow, some plow stuff set up on this. You can tell where the um, plow or something used to go right here. And this looked like it's some type of uh, hydraulic hydraulic stuff i'm not sure maybe some some older some old head out there can speak on this but i'm just showing you guys just, let's go over here take a look at the engine and this is the horn as we all know this is the uh, air filter um and this engine looks solid i could tell you that much pure steel So that's the, we're gonna go on the other side. That's the carburetor over there. This is where the battery goes. I guess this one used to use two batteries. You could tell there's one missing right here. This is very interesting. So look at this. Look at this big chain link. See that big chain link? Um, I bet there's another one on the other side. Because I'm looking and I don't see no drive shaft. I don't see no drive shaft uh, from the transmission to the rear axle. So that means these big old chain link is the, um, is the drive shaft. Somebody comment in the, somebody make a comment and uh, let me know. Let me know. That's the fuel gauge. The rest of the gates, air gauge. This truck didn't even have a wiper. There's a lot of trees and, and um, branches in here. This is a tag. This is a model number, HC105, chassis number 105, uh, HC692, engine number 709, Seven nine eight engine model six MZA uh, engine engine govern speed. Uh, I don't see nothing there. I guess it's all wiped out. Um, RPM uh, twenty eight hundred uh, maximum gross weight. Combination weight, uh, 26,000 pounds. Okay, so this is like a little, this is like a little pocket you can put your papers and stuff. Let's go around the other side here. This 
is the uh, alternator. Uh, uh, I think this is the distributor. I'm just looking and guessing. So. Yeah. You don't see these anymore. This one is from uh from Bendix. They're still around. They still make truck parts. Bendix. Bendix product is very pretty good too. Uh this is a little vent door. I don't know for what. I guess this is a toolbox. I don't wanna open it up. I don't want nothing to jump out at me. Uh, I guess this is the this is the air tank. This is the air tank owner there. And what is this here? Is that the fuel? Is that the gas cover? Hmm. I'm guessing that's the gas cover. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, just like I thought. See the big chain link? See that there? Yeah, that's the big oh there's two um two air tank. One one there and one there. But these trucks back in the day didn't use a uh, drive shaft. Because I'm looking at it, it looks like it got two big chain links at both sides. You see that in the back? I think the, I think those chain link is a drive shaft, right? See that? Those yep. big... Yeah, that's the drives. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Back before they were even called Fords. So back in the days, uh, Sterling was Ford, or yeah, because over there, that truck right there is a Ford. Yeah. Oh, I These didn't. Were Sterling's a Ford too. Like they've renamed the one Ford now oh. Sterling again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was just two separate companies. No. I guess this is the engine number. Man, they go back a long way. Yeah. Yeah. But these trucks are pure steel, man. It's not like they used to make it. You know? Now when you hit a truck, forget about it. <laughs> yep. You don't even have to hit a truck. I hit a deer with that one. You got to be. Four weeks ago, I had to put a new hood on it. New yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With this, that, with this right here, this is pure steel. Let's hit a deer. <laughs> the That's deer. Hurt. Yeah. <laughs> the deer doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. It's pure steel. Right, let's take a look at the label here. This is the. Run and valve clearance. So you gotta. So this is an instruction how to run the um, clearance on the valves. Um, you know when you put the injectors in and stuff like that, you gotta um, adjust the valves so they can run, so the engine can run right. So this is the instruction I do it. You gotta uh, make sure this is at. Um, you gotta make sure it's at top dead center. Um, I did. Um, I did some uh, injectors, um, I mean some valve adjustment before in the past. So this is just um, kind of like the same thing. Let's take a look at the brakes. So this is the push rod. All set. this at the back. <laughs> this has got a fifth wheel on here too. So this one is like a, a fifth wheel puller trailer and that one is a dumpster. 